to Mr. Damiano, sir. Is there a page reference that you're reading? I have a one slash two on it. Is there a debate? Oh, debate's number? number 144. Okay, let me just put that in front of the witness. Mm -hmm. so sure. Okay. top of the page, or at least it appears to that you state, my job here is to pass along information to Bob. Do you recall saying that, sir? Looking yes. At the top. Okay. And Bob, of course, is Bob Dylan? Yes. And then you say, which I think I have. Do you see that, sir? Yes. Did you say that? Yes. Okay. When you said that to Mr. Damiano, which I think I have, were you lying to him? I was, I was, I was misstating the, the truth because I, I didn't. I, Mr. Mintz. Do you recall ever giving Mr. Damiano your fax number? Yes. And when you need to reach Mr. Dillon, how do you reach him? I phone him. At his home? If he's in Los Angeles, yes. If he's on the road, I try and locate him that way. Okay. receiving a package of materials from Mr. Damiano that contained, let me just strike that, do you recall receiving a package of materials from Mr. Damiano that were signed for by certified mail at your uh, Bel Air address? Yeah, uh, I honestly do not recall receiving a package of material from Mr. Damiano. Assuming we have a certified mail receipt from someone purporting to be at that address. Again, are we talking packages, letters, package. FedExes, a package? Yes, a certified package. mail package. I do not recall receiving a package from Mr. Damiano. Do you recall sending back an envelope to him? Or a package? In November of 92? I personally have no recollection of that. Okay. And we're going off the record. Time is 5.04 p.m. and we're back on the record. During that break, Mr. Mintz, uh, I noticed you were having a colloquy which, with your attorneys, which is your right to do. Um, after that colloquy, is there anything you wish to change or amend, add to your testimony? Uh, no. Uh, uh, is, if you were going to pick up where you had left off, uh, okay. nothing to amend. Okay. The only thing that I would like to have the opportunity to amend is to, to give you an indication as to why uh, I continue to have this dialogue with your client. I, I think we're just missing that as an overview here. That I, I would like to be able to insert that when you consider that appropriate. Well, one of the few perquisites that I get in life Is there a page reference that you're reading? I have a one slash two on it. Is there a debate? Oh, debate's number? number 144. Okay, let me just put that in front of the witness. Mm -hmm. so. Sure. You state at the top of the page, or at least it appears to that you state, 
my job here is to pass along information to Bob. Do you recall saying that, sir? Looking yes. At the top. Okay. And Bob, of course, is Bob Dylan. Yes. And then you say, which I think I have. Do you see that, sir? Yes. Did you say that? Yes. Okay. When you said that to Mr. Damiano, which I think I have, were you lying to him? I was I was misstating the the truth because I didn't. I misunderstood. Do you have the first answer? The others is inevitable. Colon. He didn't. That's D I D N apostrophe T, as in did not. He didn't have enough material of his own for an album. Period. Un. Period. Did Mr. Dylan? say those words? I went back in the transcript and I was paraphrasing him and that's not entirely accurate. He said he didn't have enough songs that he wanted to put on an album. Concert, if we may, to the time when you offered the tickets to Mr. Damiano before the concert actually took place, okay? During that point in time when you offered the tickets to him and before he actually went to the concert, did you ever say to him or suggest to him that maybe he should bring some of his songs with him? No, I did not. Any... Do you deny saying that, or is it you just don't recall one way or the other? I deny suggesting to Jim that he bring songs along with him. I, I did, however, concur with him when he asked me, do you think I should bring my songs with me? I said, sure, why not? What could it hurt?
This is the videotape deposition of Elliot Mintz in the matter of Damiano versus Sony Music and Bob Dylan. Have you ever lied to Mr. Damiano? Yes. Someday, maybe you'll be able to tell the greatest story. Say the greatest line. Give the greatest performance. Find the greatest find. Bob Dylan.